We're now joined on the Sports Mix by the head coach of the Hedgesville Eagles, Matt Faircloth. Coach Faircloth, a win for your team last week against Hampshire. After a slow start, your team was able to get into the game in the second half, take control, and get the win. What you like overall? Uh, I mean, I liked our effort. Uh, our pursuit of the ball and facing adversity and handling adverse situations the way we did it. Uh, at the end of the day, a win's a win. Uh, you know, moving into this week against so. Hampshire. Coach, uh, you mentioned facing the adversity, and week one, I think, was obviously you know not how you guys wanted to start the season, and you talked about that on the show. How has this team grown since that first game in terms of doing the little things that you wanted to improve on uh, from week one to now? Uh, I mean, I think from, from week one to now, I think we've you know, progressed in some areas. You know, like I said, I mean, Dalton, Dalton's taking the reins from Jackson and, and trying, you know, trying to become you know, that, that number one guy. He's still got a lot to learn, but he's progressed every week into you know making his reads, getting the ball out, and running the ball real well. And defensively, we were flying around, we were making tackles. And, you know, for us, from week one to now, I think we've made strides in, in some areas, but we, we still got to fix some stuff. What are some of those things that you feel like your team still needs to fix? I think it's alignment assignment, making sure we know where we're supposed to be at all times. Uh, communication. Uh, I mean, it's the biggest thing about football is alignment assignment and communicating to one another and making sure everybody's on the same page. So I think right now that's the biggest thing for us is, is communication part. Coach, what are some things this week you guys will have to do to get the win? Uh, we're going to have to have them. You know, some of our guys that are twos and threes are going to have to step up in some big spots. And, you know, we got some guys banged up and, got some guys out and at the end of the day it's it's the next man up uh so for us in order to to go to hoover and have the success we want we're going to have to have a lot of young guys that you know haven't had varsity experience yet they're going to have to come in and play for it what have you seen on film so far from her or from hoover uh, they're they're pretty good uh offensively you know they can run it they can throw it they got good quick game good screen game uh, up front, they got big offensive line that can move, and they're physical. Uh, defense, they give you multiple looks. Uh, they switch their coverages on you. you know, I mean, they're they're coached well. Coach Fields has done a, a great job down there, and you know we're on the road for five about five five hours and fifteen minutes, so we're going to have to get off the bus and and play to the best of our ability. And also, coach, they're coming off of a big win over a much improved Nitro program, um, so. I guess what are some things you guys are trying to do in this game specifically to to and, and what did you see from them in terms of their growth after starting the Euro and two and getting that big win last week? I mean they played a tough schedule. I mean the, the teams that they played, you know, when you look at their record, you know, one and two, those first two games they they played some teams, and so when when I look at their record, that doesn't mean anything to me because I, I see the competition that they're playing. Um, but for us. You know, we got to control the ball, got to control the clock, keep the ball out of their hands because, I mean, they are electric on the offensive end. Um, so, for us, it's going to be grind the clock, get first downs. And at the end of the day on defense, we we got to go rally and tackle and, and make plays because, I mean, they got guys all over the field. Coach, you mentioned some injuries right now to your program as well. Uh, who are some of those guys and who are some of the guys that you're hoping to see step up? I mean, right now, you know, DeMonte's banged up, Gavin's banged up, Levi's banged up, Connor's banged up, uh, Jake Young's banged up. I mean, you know, the, the last two, I mean, people don't think that Hampshire is a, uh, a a changed program. Hampshire will be one of the more physical teams that you play. They've totally changed the mentality. Kaiser's physical. I mean, we played a knockdown drag out with them. So, for us, we're banged up. Uh, you know, we'll see what guys can go, what guys can't. Um, but – Guys like Ramsey Button, Ian Wolf, um, you know uh, Woody Smith, you know guys that really haven't had that shine yet. They're going to have to come in and and play and fill in big roles. All right, Coach. Any final thoughts before we let you go? <laughs> going to be a long bus ride, and at the end of the day, hopefully we get down here and get a win. All right, Coach. Good luck and appreciate the time today. Thank you. All right, thank you.